woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. You're good. All right. Michael and Michelle, you're standing here this evening on the threshold of a great adventure. Your lives together in marriage. And really, your decision to get married was a decision to invite the love of your life, to share in all that you have, all that you are, and all that you hope to be. This evening, you'll exchange rings, and you'll receive a printed certificate. Both of those things say you're married. However, neither one of those things makes a marriage. And while rings may be lost, and ink does fade, what you're doing here tonight is something that cannot be lost, nor will it ever fade away because this isn't something that's made with gold or printed with ink. But it is something that's etched upon your very hearts. It's your love, it's your commitment, it's your promise to one another. It's a promise that says, I don't know where life goes from here, but I promise to be by your side. Michael, Michelle, you're standing here today because you're in love. And love has been defined many ways throughout the centuries. But I found one of the greatest definitions written in these simple words which say this in love. It says, love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy and it does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered and it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, Love never fails. The love that's described there really is a self-giving kind of love. It's a self-sacrificing love. It's a love that puts the needs, the cares, and the concerns of the other person ahead of your very own. And I believe when two people love each other that selflessly, that sacrificially, both are equally fulfilled in life. Michael, Michelle, you're standing here today really inviting your best friend to share the rest of your life with you. To share your hopes, to share your dreams, and to share your future. To that end, I would ask you to repeat these vows after me. Can you turn to face one of them? Hold it. Try not to laugh. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I didn't think so. <laughs> well, let's start with you, Michael. Okay. I, Michael. I, Michael. Take you, Michelle. Take you, Michelle. To be my wife. To be my wife. And these things I promise. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> and these things I promise. To obey. That's not on the list. <laughs> I will be completely. I will be completely. Obedient. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> I will be faithful. I will be faithful. To you. To you. And honest with you. And honest with you. I will trust and respect you. I will trust and respect you. <laughs> In the good times and the bad. In the good times and the bad. Whether rich or poor. Whether rich or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. <laughs> this is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. And Michelle, will you also repeat these after me? I guess so. I, Michelle. I, Michelle. Take you, Michael. Take you, Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. And these things I promise. And these things I promise. <laughs> I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. And honest with you. And honest with you. I will trust and respect you. I will trust and respect you. In the good times and the bad. In the good times and in the bad. Whether rich or poor. <laughs> Whether rich or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. This is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. Cool. Michael, Michelle. As a symbol of the promises that you're making tonight, you've chosen to exchange rings. And the ring is a symbol. For many people, the fact that the ring is a circle with no beginning and no end, it symbolizes the timelessness of your love for one another. But I think these rings really represent something else as well. Because as you wear this ring, it stands as a symbol of the promises that you're making here today and a reminder of those promises. A promise to love, to honor, to cherish, to always keep that other person at the very center of your heart, and to never let anyone or anything come between you. Michael, will you take this ring and repeat after me as you place this on Michelle's finger? With this ring? With this ring. I take you, Michelle. I take you, Michelle. To be my wife. To be my wife. Thank you. Yes, sir.
And Michelle, you would repeat after me. With this ring, I take you, Michael, to be my husband. Believe me, there's more pain to come. Oh, I know. That's what I've heard. Michael and Michelle, today you made promises here before these witnesses and before God. And based upon those promises, it is now my pleasure and my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you make this your bride. Cool. We want money.